Today, we're diving into the world of water-based tire shines, what they are, how to spot them, and even how they're made. So if you've ever stood in the detailing aisle wondering what makes one product different from another, this one's for you. Now, all of these products here are water-based tire shines. You'll notice they come in all sorts of colors and consistencies, but the easiest way to tell they're water-based, that milky, almost cloudy appearance. That texture and color is a dead giveaway. Now compare that to these. See how clear they are? These are solvent-based tire shines. I'll cover the pros and cons of water versus solvent-based shines in another video, but for today, we're focusing strictly on the water-based side. So the name kind of gives it away. Water is the main ingredient in water-based tire shines, but water alone, not very impressive. As you can see here, water doesn't stick, doesn't shine, and it evaporates completely after sitting in the sun for a few minutes. The real magic comes from what's mixed into that water. And in most cases, that key ingredient is silicone. I'm not talking about the silicone sealants you'd find in a tube at Home Depot. This stuff cures into rubber. The silicone used in tire shine is very different. It's a type of silicone oil, crystal clear, super slick, and great at repelling water and giving rubber surfaces that wet, glossy look. This right here is pure silicone oil. It's excellent at creating shine and protection. The only issue, it's thick. And applying it straight like this would be a mess. It would attract dirt, streak, and probably sling all over your paint job. To make it usable, manufacturers dilute it down. Water-based tire shines do this using, you guessed it, water. It's safer more eco-friendly, and easier to work with than the petroleum-based solvents used in other products. But here's the catch. Oil and water don't mix. You can stir them all day long, but they'll always separate once you stop. That's where emulsification comes in. To create an emulsion, which is just a fancy way of saying suspended oil in water, we need a surfactant. In this case, I'm using a little dish soap. Now, this isn't the perfect surfactant for tire shine, but it's enough to show the process. Once I mix it in, the oil breaks into tiny droplets and stays suspended in the water, at least for a little while. This is the basic science behind how water-based tire shine is made. Professional products use more advanced surfactants and stabilizers to keep everything blended longer and perform better, but this gives you a rough idea. Notice how even though all the ingredients were clear, the final product looks milky white. That's because the suspended oil droplets scatter light, another easy way to tell it's a water-based formula. Time to see how it works. Right now, this mix is about 50-50 oil and water, which is similar to a gel-type shine. Let's water it down a bit more to make it behave more like a sprayable commercial product. Let's give it a good shake and go in with three sprays on the applicator pad. It actually smells pretty nice thanks to the dish soap just working it into the tire like you would with any off-the-shelf product. Let's get three more sprays and continue working it in. Now that it's been about 30 minutes, you can see the water has evaporated and we're left with a thin, consistent layer of silicone oil. The shine is glossy, even, and dry to the touch. Not bad at all. Although the results are good, after 30 minutes, my tire shine has completely separated. Without commercial grade emulsifiers and machinery, this kind of separation is inevitable. Eventually, that white layer will turn gooey, which is why you won't be seeing this version on store shelves anytime soon. And that's a wrap on water-based tire shine. What it is, how it works, and even how you can make your own basic version. Thanks for watching.